Blue Origin is shrouded in darkness after more than a decade of unsuccessful efforts. New Glenn, Jeff Bezos' first orbital rocket, has been ready to conquer the skies, but launch opportunities have been canceled one after another, leaving their dream of reaching space still unfulfilled. This story seems kind of familiar, sort of like Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, but will Blue Origin follow the same ill-fated path? What's the real reason behind New Glenn's continuous launch scrubs? And more importantly, when will we finally actually see New Glenn take flight? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any of our episodes. Our next goal, 150,000 subscribers. Of course, we're striving to improve in every way possible, but we still very much need your support. Thanks so much. On the morning of January 13th, Blue Origin, the aerospace company founded by billionaire Jeff Bezos, aimed to launch its first heavy lift New Glenn rocket from Florida's Space Coast during a three-hour window starting at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, things didn't go as planned. The company repeatedly reset the countdown each time it hit T plus 10 minutes, cycling through this process eight times. After three and a half hours, the designated launch window closed and the launch ultimately got canceled. Despite this frustration, most people were not overly surprised. The likelihood of a delay was far more expected than the possibility of a flawless first orbital flight for New Glenn. Given this, it wouldn't be surprising if Blue Origin delayed the launch by a few days to resolve these technical issues. Fortunately, after scrubbing the first flight, Blue Origin made efforts to be transparent about the issue, company stating, We're standing down on today's launch attempt to troubleshoot a vehicle subsystem issue that'll take us beyond our launch window. We're reviewing opportunities for our next launch attempt. While this explanation seemed vague, by the afternoon of January 13th, Blue Origin gave a more detailed update. This morning's scrub was due to ice forming in a purge line on an auxiliary power unit that powers some of our hydraulic systems. These purge lines are responsible for venting excess fuel from the rocket's tanks during fueling. The issue arose during Blue Origin's functional test phase of the countdown. To be fair, this type of issue is not uncommon with rockets. For example, during Starship Flight 3, Elon and Tim Dodd discussed how ice may have contributed to engine failures. SpaceX addressed this issue by using better filtration systems. Despite numerous attempts, Blue Origin could not resolve its issue, leading to the cancellation of the January 12th launch attempt after hours of waiting. Given the situation, Blue Origin announced plans to attempt the New Glenn launch again on the morning of January 14th. However, just a few hours later, the company disclosed that it would not proceed with the launch overnight. Instead, it would take at least 48 hours to drain the rocket of fuel, clean it, and prepare it for a second attempt. We're moving our NG-1 launch to no earlier than Thursday the 16th, the company stated in a post on X. In addition to technical difficulties, Blue Origin also attributed delays to weather-related constraints. Like SpaceX's Falcon 9, New Glenn's designed to land its first stage booster on a ship. Therefore, Blue Origin must consider sea conditions if it plans to recover the booster after launch. Blue Origin's proceeding cautiously with New Glenn's maiden flight aiming for a flawless debut. This approach is understandable given the rocket's over 10 years of development. A successful inaugural launch could be pivotal for New Glenn, enabling the company to gather crucial flight data and paving the way for the rocket to make a significant impact on the global launch industry. New Glenn is Blue Origin's first rocket developed to deliver satellites to orbit and achieve reusability, a vital feature for any company hoping to challenge SpaceX's long-standing dominance in the launch market. Jeff Bezos, the head of Blue Origin, expressed his commitment to the success of New Glenn's first flight. We're going to pick ourselves up and keep going. He also participated in the countdown for New Glenn's debut flight on Monday from the Mission Control Center located at Blue Origin's rocket factory just outside NASA's Kennedy Space Center gates. What do you think about this determination? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. For New Glenn to have a successful journey, it'll need to undergo a rigorous operational process. A critical stage in the countdown is the system functional check, which ensures all rocket systems are operating nominally before proceeding toward liftoff. During this stage, engineers thoroughly assess propulsion, avionics, guidance, communications, and safety systems. Diagnostics are run on key components like the BE-4 engines, flight computers, and telemetry systems. This meticulous evaluation is designed to catch potential issues early, as was the case during the first launch attempt, where anomalies such as ice-clogged vent lines and auxiliary power unit problems were identified. New Glenn's booster is a technological marvel powered by seven BE-4 engines that generate over 3.8 million pounds of thrust. 
Among these, three engines are equipped with gimbal controls, allowing precise adjustments in thrust direction to maintain stability and control during ascent, re-entry, and landing. This gimbal capability is essential for guiding the booster back to the recovery vessel and achieving a pinpoint landing. The landing sequence for the booster is a delicate process requiring both precision and coordination. The sequence begins with a re-entry burn, followed by a landing burn during which the three gimbaled engines provide stability. As the booster approaches the recovery vessel, only one engine continues firing to ensure a controlled and gentle touchdown. Reaction control thrusters and landing gear further assist in stabilizing the vehicle during its final ascent. This intricate choreography is key to making New Glenn's booster fully reusable, a feature that is crucial for reducing costs and increasing launch cadence. If New Glenn succeeds on its first launch, it will mark the beginning of Blue Origin's transformation from a research and development lab into a major player in the space launch industry. This milestone represents the culmination of a long and winding journey for the 25-year-old company. Blue Origin was founded in 2000 by Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, a lifelong advocate for space exploration. Bezos grew up inspired by the writings of Gerard O'Neill, a pioneer in space settlement and even led his university's space exploration club. Like Elon Musk, his counterpart at SpaceX, Bezos was disheartened by America's willingness to abandon deep space exploration after the Apollo program ended. With Blue Origin, Bezos resolved to correct this course by making spaceflight affordable and routine. Blue Origin's motto, Gratitim Ferociter, is a Latin phrase that translates to step-by-step -step ferociously. This reflects Bezos' vision of a deliberate long-term approach to space exploration. He didn't want his team to focus on short-term financial gains or isolated product development. Instead, he envisioned building a pathway to space through a series of purposeful steps, with each project paving the way for the next. In line with this philosophy, Blue Origin's early projects were modest in scale. The company's first milestone was building a jet-powered flying platform called Charon, followed by a small rocket named Goddard. These early vehicles allowed Blue Origin to gain valuable experience in vertical rocket launches and landing. Rather than prioritizing orbital satellite launches, Blue Origin ventured into suborbital space tourism with its next rocket, New Shepard. This workhorse rocket is capable of taking six passengers just beyond the Karman Line, the internationally recognized boundary of space. For a ticket price of one and a quarter million, customers can experience approximately five minutes of microgravity and enjoy breathtaking views of Earth through floor-to-ceiling windows before being returned to a parachute-assisted landing. Blue Origin achieved several milestones with New Shepard. In 2015, the company became the first to successfully land a rocket vertically after it returned from space. In summer of 21, Bezos himself and three other passengers became the first crew to ride in the rocket. Since then, Blue Origin has completed eight additional crewed missions. The only blemish on New Shepard's record occurred in 2022 when an uncrewed rocket failed mid-flight. Despite this, the rocket remains a symbol of Blue Origin's progress and potential as it moves toward larger and more ambitious projects like New Glenn. However, even with the operational success of New Shepard, Blue Origin has lagged behind its self-proclaimed rival, SpaceX. To date, SpaceX has launched nearly 450 Falcon rockets into orbit and successfully landed 375 first-stage boosters. With a max speed of Mach 3, New Shepard's performance is comparable to that of a high-performance aircraft like the SR-71 Blackbird. It falls short of the Mach 25 required to reach orbit and, by extension, the lucrative satellite market which generates $60 million or more per launch. Even as it completed the development of New Shepard, Blue Origin began quietly designing a rocket capable of challenging the dominance of SpaceX's Falcon family. Initially dubbed Very Big Brother to its suborbital predecessor, the concept marked the company's first foray into orbital-class rockets. Blue Origin submitted a proposal to NASA's commercial crew program alongside SpaceX and Boeing, but it was easily dismissed due to its immaturity. Crewed missions to the International Space Station ISS were never Blue Origin's primary target market, and the company quietly continued refining its designs. In 2016, Blue Origin unveiled New Glenn to the world. The rocket was named in honor of John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth. The bold ambition of the project sent shockwaves through the spaceflight community. With a max payload of 45 tons, 
New Glenn's positioned to compete directly with SpaceX's Falcon Heavy in the largest configurations of ULA's Vulcan. Its first stage would be powered by 7BE-4 as a system already under development for ULA. At the time, New Glenn was expected to debut in 2020. However, delays plagued the project, and Blue Origin found itself in difficult financial straits. During this period, Bezos reportedly sold approximately a billion dollars worth of Amazon stock annually to fund the company's operations. While delays are common in the space industry, New Glenn's protracted development eventually exceeded Bezos' patience. In September of 2023, the company's CEO, Bob Smith, officially stepped down. While Bezos publicly praised Smith, many journalists reported that Smith had been pressured to resign. According to these reports, Bezos believed Blue Origin had become overly bureaucratic and lost its sense of urgency. He replaced Smith with David Limp, an Amazon executive who tasked him with launching New Glenn by the end of 2024. With a renewed focus on speed and agility, signs of progress quickly became apparent. As the calendar turned to 2024, the BE-4 main engine was successfully flight-tested aboard ULA's first Vulcan rocket. In May, Blue Origin invited CBS's 60 Minutes to tour the factory, showcasing an impressive amount of hardware in production, including completed engine components and fuel tanks. A Pathfinder rocket completed a successful refueling test in February demonstrating that all ground systems at the launch pad were functioning as expected. The pinnacle of the testing campaign came shortly after Christmas when Blue Origin rolled out its first flight-ready New Glenn rocket and successfully fired all seven BE-4s for 24 seconds. Beyond the raw spectacle of the upcoming launch, there's a deeper reason why New Glenn is so eagerly anticipated. Blue Origin possesses all the essential ingredients to become a major player in the space industry. The company's built world-class factories and developed sophisticated rocket engines. It's assembled a team of over 10,000 top aerospace engineers, forming one of the most skilled and knowledgeable delegations in the industry. And it's led by individuals who have built the world's most dominant logistics empire. We're on the cusp of witnessing what happens when all these elements come together at the cutting edge of human innovation and creativity. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.